photographs are the most memorable and best known dimension of his six year project to capture the last days of steam railroading on the NW. But Link's enthusiasm to document NW's steam locomotives led him also to capture moving images on film and to record sound with high fidelity. Shot in two trips in 1958 and 1959 are a nearly unknown and unexploited treasure. Link rented a 16 millimeter film camera and shot with available light, but never edited the film for any use. The film reveals his unerring sense of framing an image, characteristic also of his still photography. The unedited film also reveals rare glimpses of Link himself working on site. In contrast, for two decades, Link's audio recordings of steam locomotives were far more famous and earned more money than his still photography. I'm following the uh, timetable from December 1958. This is train number 85 westbound, and we're heading towards... His sound recordings began late in 1955, the first year he photographed on the NW. Link captured steam locomotive sounds to play during an early show of his photographs to help viewers appreciate the power and awesomeness of his subject, to let them not only see the locomotives, but hear their voices. <laughs> 